Hello, boys and girls. I am so excited to be here with you again today to share the next story in our Gospel Storybook Bible. Um, this is actually story 84, um, and this story is called The Temptation of Jesus, and it is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 4. Now, before I start today's story, I want to remind you that last week we read about Jesus' baptism in the Jordan River and how the Holy Spirit um, came down upon him. And so we're going to learn a little bit more about what happened shortly after that. So again, this story is called The Temptation of Jesus. After Jesus was baptized, he left the Jordan River full of the Holy Spirit. You might be surprised to know where the Holy Spirit sent Jesus next. He sent him into the wilderness where Jesus fasted, which means he did not eat anything for 40 days. While he was there, the devil tried to tempt him. Satan knew that Jesus was hungry, so he said to him, If you really are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. Now Jesus certainly had the power to turn a stone into bread, but he wasn't going to obey the devil. Instead, he answered with a verse from the Old Testament. Jesus said, Man does not live by bread alone. He needs God's word for life. So then Satan tempted Jesus again. He took him up to the very top of the temple. He dared Jesus to prove he was really the Son of God, by throwing himself down to the ground. Satan tried to use God's word to get Jesus to obey him. He quoted Psalm 91 and said that if Jesus really was the Son of God, then the angels would just protect him from any harm caused by the fall. But Jesus knew what Satan was doing. He answered him, with another verse from the Old Testament. He said, It is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Well, Satan was still not ready to give up. He tempted Jesus a third time by showing him all the kingdoms of the world. Then he said to Jesus, If you will worship me, all of this will be yours. Again, Jesus gave his answer from God's word. He said, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. So finally, Satan gave up. He left Jesus, but planned to return when the time was right. After the devil left, angels came to comfort and strengthen Jesus. Boys and girls, did you know that every time Jesus answered the devil, he quoted from the book of Deuteronomy? If you look up Jesus' first answer, you will see that it was Moses who told Israel that they needed more than bread to live. They needed God's word, too. You see, God led Israel in the desert for 40 years to test their obedience and to teach them that they needed more than food to survive. They also need God's word to feed their hearts. That was an important lesson for Israel because they were constantly putting their desires for food above their love and obedience to God. Israel failed to follow God in the wilderness, but Jesus succeeded. Unlike Israel, Jesus didn't complain that he didn't have food. He found his strength in the promises of God's word. And when he was tempted, he relied on God. 
The book of Hebrews tells us that even though Jesus was tempted like us in every way, he never sinned. That's really important. Jesus did what we cannot do. He kept God's law and lived a perfect, sinless life. Now he offers his perfect record of righteousness as a gift to anyone who trusts in him. Boys and girls, um, I am so thankful for this story. Um, It's so important, boys and girls, that we understand that um, just like Satan tempted Jesus, he tempts us too. And unlike Jesus, we are not um, sinless. We, we do sin, boys and girls, and that's why we need Jesus so much. We can also remember um, when we are tempted and we feel like um, we're about to sin and make a mistake and disobey God, we can also rely on God. We can pray to him that he will give us strength as well. Boys and girls, I'm going to say a quick prayer for us and thank God for this time with you and for this story. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for uh, sending us your word. Thank you, Lord, that I've had this opportunity to share your word with the children and the families who are listening today. And Lord, thank you most of all for your son, Jesus. Thank you for sending him down to the earth. Thank you for his perfect, sinless life. And thank you, Lord, um, that we can receive salvation through Jesus um, when we trust in him and we um, believe in him as our Savior and ask for our sins to be forgiven. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.